Pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Ready now on 1 and 1. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind 1 and 2. On a big swing there, and he really got into it high and deep to left center field. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Billy Butler will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it two and one. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Herbert Martinez will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. From the belt, the pitch, way outside, 1 and 2. And even on 1 and 2 now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Hit hard, but foul. Here's another 1-2. Now he reaches and hits this one hard the other way. And this is a base hit, and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at one. Stephen Vogt will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. That one is out of here. A home run into the left center field bullpen. So a two-run shot to left center, and it's given the A's a three-to-one lead. Swing and a ball pretty well hit out towards left center. And that's taken in by Ackley, two away now. Marcus Simeon will try it again. He flew out his first time. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Hit hard to third, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Nelson Cruz will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Nelson Cruz. First pitch coming. Now here's the ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And he's retired one away. Kyle Seeger will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Mike Sanino will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Fold. Retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Eric Sogard come in now to lead things off against our starter who probably wishes he had a mulligan to use on that last inning. Yeah, he was doing just fine up until the last time he took the mound. He's got to hope that that was just an aberration or he might not stick around to see another inning. Logan Morrison is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it should be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. Dustin Ackley will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at second. Oh, he does get to it to knock it down. But he knows he's got no chance at first, so we'll see how they score that. Most likely an infield single. Willie Bloomquist will try it again. He flew out his first time. Runners off for second. And 
Now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a ball rolled slowly down the third baseline. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Billy Burns will stand in to start things for Oakland in their half of the sixth. We'll join this one here in the bottom of the sixth, already in progress. Austin Jackson to step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zeros since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Now the pitch. A little bit off the outside, it's one and two. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Looks like a right-hander's got enough to throw now in the Oakland pen. And a bouncing ball, foul. And now a pitch on the way. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Second baseman Robinson Cano will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch coming. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Cano waiting on the 0-1. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Look over by Kazmir. Now the pitch. Runner going a second time. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. And the throw will come in quickly from center, so despite the hit and run, they won't get the extra base here. Nelson Cruz will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Here's the first offering. Now a ground ball for Lowry. This could be two. The second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. We'll move forward in this one and rejoin the action in the bottom of the seventh. And here's the first pitch. Third baseman, Swing and he gets under this one as it's hit in the air to shallow center. There to take it is Coco and that's out number one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Now the pitch. And the first pitch is chopped foul right at home plate. It's strike one. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw gets him, two down. Logan Morrison will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Logan Morrison. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And at least he's taken a few pitches here. Well, that's more than the rest of these guys can say. Here it comes. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3-2. and two. He knows a drill out there. you got to make him swing the bat. Did not. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. Eric Sogard will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. 
Time to jump ahead to the bottom of inning number eight now. Dustin Ackley will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here it comes. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that is through into right field for a single. Willie Bloomquist will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more in. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. From the belt, kicks and deals. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Bullpen working behind him, but you know this guy does not want to give up the baseball. And he never does. I just don't think that's in his mentality. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. Chris will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Austin Jackson will step in as the possible tying run, but just a single here could make this a one-run game. First pitch on the way. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. And now they've got him caught in a rundown. And he's safe. Justin Ruggiano will stand in for the fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far. And they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. As a look, now the pitch. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a two-run shot to left center. Home run number five on the year. And the Mariners have come back to tie it at three. That great work he'd done on the mound, well, it just got undone on one swing. He's gone from being in total control to we got ourselves a tie ball game. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. Now here's a ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. Robinson Cano, a solo home run. Eighth home run on the season for him as they take the lead four to three. Two huge at-bats here late in the ballgame. Get the big home run to tie things up. And follow that up immediately with another one to give you the lead. That's clutch hitting at its best right there. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And that's going to spell the end of the evening for Scott Casimir. Evan Swibner will come on here looking to get the final out in the home half of inning number eight. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Oh, and here's one hit high and deep to left field. And they're going to wind up with back-to-back -back shots here as this ball is long gone. A solo home run from Nelson Cruz. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it's now 5-3. It doesn't matter who's out there now. This is back to back to back home runs now. Three in a row, and they're just teeing off on whoever it is out there standing on the mound. 